Well, Pep Guardiola has faced the media ahead of Manchester City's trip to Turf Moor on Tuesday evening, uh, where they will face a difficult Burnley side. City, of course, have now dropped 11 points behind pace setters Liverpool uh, after being held to a 2 2 draw by Newcastle United at St James's Park on Saturday. Uh, Guardiola did say overall he was happy with the performance. 26 shots throughout the match against uh, Newcastle, who only managed one in each half but scored twice, uh, which he found incredible. Uh, but of course, a point was all they could take from the game and they, and they are where they are. Uh, now dropped to third place. Uh, he spoke warmly about Leicester City who are up to second and accepts that they'll be there for the long haul. Looking ahead to Burnley, um, there is obviously concerns about the threat of Woods and Barnes up front. Um, Pep saying that they will, they will look to pump balls into the box and work for set pieces, something that they managed to largely avoid last season. They'll once again be without Sergio Aguero. He's still suffering with a thigh injury that Guardiola uh, confirmed would also keep him out of the Manchester derby on Saturday. Um, he looks set to continue with Fernandinho at centre-back. There was a couple of questions around this as to why he was uh, going with um, Fernandinho in defence rather than pairing Nicolas Otamendi with John Stones. His answer was quite simple. He prefers Fernandinho at centre-back at the moment. So uh, a tough game for Man City tomorrow evening, but one they must win. Uh, Guardiola said so himself, it's vital that they pick up a win. Uh, they must not give up and it's something uh, that he'll hope that his players take into tomorrow if they want to have any chance of catching Liverpool this season. So it's uh, Burnley against Manchester City at Turf Moor tomorrow. It's quarter past eight kick-off. Richard Garner for Team Talk at the Etihad, Etihad campus.